a new day, a new project, and here we have a nice piece of equipment, and this is an wideband amplifier from New Elec, a company in uh, States. And this is a version 2 of LANA wideband amplifier. And uh, if we look at their web page, this amplifier is uh, working from 20 MHz to 4 GHz. You can supply by BIOS-T, USB on DC power. A wideband high performance general purpose NNA installed in a quality aluminum enclosure, high gain, lower noise figure. We'll see about that. Lower power consumption and better linearity than modules based on CPF 5189Z. I mean, let's hope so. <laughs> and similar, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it can be powered with 5 volts from 3.3 to 5 volts through USB, DC power, and so on. What else to know about that? Accidentally, if we uh, apply 12 volts, it will still working because it have a probably a linear uh, power regulator. They are saying it's not okay to have it for the long term, you know, on 12 volts. Micro USB adapter. This one came with the amplifier. And by the way, thanks Nikki from UK for having me this adapter. It's on. I'm gonna use my 5 volts uh, power supply and yes, we have light there. But this is not obviously meaning that the amplifier is working. It comes with two SMA female connectors. And of course, let's go and <laughs> let's torture the amplifier. Nano VNA connected to let's see what we got here this is the input all right the input comes here and the output goes there power on again let's open nano vna saver 820 to 900 megahertz calibration yeah we are good to go and now let's give a first try on almost lora band so far is the best amplifier i ever test like gain of course like amplification we are going to nano vna port one with a minus 20 db attenuator minus 19.8 i recall and we still have 0 0.686 dB. <laughs> this is huge. Even better. Like I said, always check the connectors. You know, this, this is a pain. Okay. Once again. 0 0.181. Look up here. We are interested about this frequency and this number. S21 gain. Okay? Now, let's do a little mathematic here. I know that my uh, attenuator is 19.8 dB minus 171 and that gives a huge 19.629 dB gain. Oh, this is insane. So far is the best amplifier I test. And uh, so this was strictly for, let's say, LoRa band. Let's have a 200 megahertz to 2000 megahertz. Yeah, so we have plus six at, uh, at 2090 megahertz. That means around 26 dB. Okay, I don't want to waste my time, you know, doing all kinds of other experiments. It's very clear. This one is working really great. So let's go back to LoRa band. All right, here we go. 820. These are my usually numbers, so that's why I'm stuck on this. There we are. 
minus 3.85 this is so great okay now let me try to insert a filter in the front of the amplifier so this will uh, give me the peak on 868 megahertz let's see what's happening there we are a very nice bell shape because of the filter of course and we have minus 3.265 dB at 868 megahertz that means we have around 16.7 dB amplification and this is huge this kind of amplifier with this amplification it's very good to be in the front of a splitter you know like antenna cable this amplifier uh, antenna filter cable or something like this anyway a filter in front and the output goes to a splitter with at least four outputs or six outputs doesn't really matter you know guys so far it's the best amplifier i uh, i ever test okay like gain only gain i'm not talking about something else but in the meantime let's do a noise test and i'm gonna use my radio my rds radio do you remember this guy okay no more nano vna and let's plug the radio and let's take a look let's close this down let's take a look at my channel yeah i think that's the one because i need to remember or redo exactly the same uh, the same settings for the radio I can't hear anything here and uh, a row here the radio is hooked on exactly like I used in the attic with a maximum 49.6 dB amplification so let's have the same uh, like the test before 49.6 dB let's run the radio that's the noise floor here 79.7 now we need to connect the amplifier to the radio this is the input and this is the output and power on it was 79.8 and we have 74.1 I have to remember you that the amplification in this stage is huge it's maximum gain for the radio so a uh, 4 db noise it's nothing okay maybe i should connect a terminator a 50 ohm load in the front let's see what's happening so we have a 50 ohms here oh come on 79.69 so it's still <laughs> it's getting some some noises here and I used to have a proper LoRa antenna but I don't so let's use this small telescopic something we should see LoRa activity of course oh come on stay there is there power yes nothing not too much nothing so far maybe the antenna is not connected in the proper way let's hook it directly to the to the radio same story well it's silence in the in the air probably well, I can't exactly say that is a plus 4 dB because this is just a, how can I say, this is just a compare. And if you remember from the videos before, let's take a look at the end. 
because we have all these numbers here here we go so if you remember this Akasom have a minus 75 and minus 77 the AB patch minus 78 minus 78 in the air like we did right now so uh, the noise it's pretty similar with Akasom 17 RX okay so it's nothing to be scared of all right in the air we have 75 75.6 so we have 76.1 even so we have around like i said around 4 db a little better than akasom on 17 erics okay guys so this is part one about uh, lana new elec amplifier i'll be back soon with some other experiments and results of course for now the next part i will dismantle this one and we should have a look inside to see uh, how it's made and what kind of components are in so far is the best amplification i encounter thank you for today please like please subscribe and of course don't forget have some fun bye bye